Let's get straight into it. Please give a massive port rush welcome to your first act, Dion Doherty! <laughs> stepdaughter who is like, adorable <laughs> well, well just from her dad's perspective really <laughs> we do this thing in our house called 30 seconds of bad talk where she gets to you know curse and say all the naughty things that she wants to say and she won't get in any trouble it's so so cute that's really fun you know she's so innocent she'll be like poo poo head farty face warty bum fuck off back to dairy would you you're not my real my hey you <laughs> so fucking cute I don't know where she gets it from, like. <laughs> when I joke, of course, I do, or really, ma. <laughs> She's not mine. Um, so, uh, but my husband and I have been trying to have a baby this past few years through a medical process called IVF. So if you're not familiar with that, basically, they get uh, the man's sperm and the woman's eggs, and they mix them in a wee dish to make embryos, which is just doctor talk for babies. And then, it's really it's so technical. Um, basically, they, like, they get the embryo and... They like, they fling it up your dirt and hope it sticks. <laughs> Science is mad, isn't it? Which is crazy because I spent the first like 25 years of my life just like desperately trying to not get pregnant. It's like taking the morning after pill like it was a multivitamin. You know, just dodging all the potentially impregnating sperm with all of the ancient techniques known to womankind. You know, like, you know, jujitsu and and you know, karate and swallowing. <laughs> that one works. <laughs> yeah, so I was like navigating my teens in the early 2000s, you know, out in nightclubs, just dancing and sperm dodging. You know, like, like Neil from The Matrix. You know, like, Batman Scoop, Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Paul, I'm broken. <laughs> we call you spare American go fuck. <laughs> Wanna get dirty, oh, but every now and then, a wee sneaky sperm would get you good, you know? Probably because they drove his own Vauxhall Astra. <laughs> How cool. So uh, during the first lockdown last year, my husband and I did another round of IVF, which was successful, and we now have a baby! <laughs> Don't, she doesn't sleep. Uh, I was actually two weeks overdue having her, so I think my womb must be on the amber list and she had to quarantine on the way out. <laughs> People give you loads of cliched advice whenever you're overdue and you're pregnant. You know, ones like eat a hot curry, yeah, drive down a bumpy road really fast. Or one you might have heard if you've had a baby is what pit baby in will get baby out. Like go have a wee sneaky ride to like speed things up. But those people forgot to take into consideration that I had to get fasted by a team of doctors in the Czech Republic in order to get pregnant. <laughs> so that advice is going to be a logistical nightmare. <laughs> With like the travel restrictions and stuff. <laughs> I heard uh, if, you, um, if you go into labour when you're in Marks and Spencers that they let you take home all your groceries for free. So I basically spent like my third trimester and the whole of the third lockdown just pushing a trolley full of dining for two meals up the Percy Pig Hill. <laughs> like... But I'd switch it up and go to different branches each day, you know, so as not to get bored or arrested. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, yeah, so two weeks overdue, so I think that gave her plenty of time to just pack her shit up, you know, get ready for the big move. She was in there with her wee checklist, like, right, let's do this. Uh, umbilical cord, check. Uh, oh, white slimy crap, it's all over our faces when we're born. Where's my wee bucket? Here we go, smear, smear, smear. That's me clattered, stinking happy days. Tech, uh, oh, wee pink hat, where's my wee pink hat? But before she's got time to grab her wee pink hat, her time's up, she's ready to be born. It's time to be evicted from the world's most cramped Airbnb. And if she doesn't cause enough damage already, do you know with the heartburn and the nausea and the hairy belly thing? She decides she's going to do one more on her way out with the wee... Fire in the hole! <laughs> Happy birthday to me! Ah, why is it so bright? Turn off the big lights with all these handmaid's tail looking fuckers. What's going on? Stop grabbing me. I've got no clothes on. I'm naked, you pedo. <laughs> uh, excuse me, um, has anybody got a wee pink hat that I can borrow, please? <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a great night. My name's Jim Burman.